Andre Cacciatore in the Armenian Sports News here with Jonathan Greaves, defensive lineman for University of San Diego. Football season is around the corner. I know the weather doesn't really make it feel that way, but it's still really hot out. It feels like summer still. Um, but fall is around the corner. A couple more weeks, uh, football begins. Uh, Jonathan, uh, people might look at your last name and see Greaves, but you are Armenian. And you're half Armenian. Um, how are you today? Doing well. How about yourself? Doing great, man. I'm excited for football, excited for college football, NFL, everything. And, and uh, I saw, I learned about you and your brother, Josh Greaves, who is uh, mm -hmm. playing in Europe right now uh, a couple of months yep. ago. And I, I said to you guys, I want to interview both of you, both of you when football season starts. And uh, sure, sure enough, it's around the corner. So uh, John Greaves, you're the younger brother. Uh, yes. Attending University of San Diego, a redshirt sophomore, correct? Yes, retro sophomore. So what goals do you have going into this season uh, after you were a retro freshman last year? Um, well, basically, like, obviously, like, getting myself better, like, getting myself ready in, in the season, you know, like, fixing my techniques and everything, and ultimately just, like, making the team as best I can, you know, like, wherever that might be, you know, like, maybe playing the second senior role, like, playing scout team, maybe it's getting some first team reps. Like, you never know. Like, I'm trying to, like, impact the team as much as I can so that we can win another conference championship. Yeah, you guys have been very successful in your conference uh, throughout history. And, you know, you obviously are on the defensive side of the ball. Your brother's a quarterback. When you were mm -hmm. growing up, what made you go into the other side of the ball on, on defense? Was it, is it kind of like a brotherly rivalry? You want to always sack <laughs> your brother? How did that come up? I mean, growing up, me and my brother have always, like, we've always, like, rest <laughs> each other. We fought each other, you know. That's, like, just how brother dynamics go. But, I mean, like, I mean, just, like, when I started playing football when I was uh, 13 years old, like, I was always, like, a, the bigger kid, you know. I was, like, when I was 13, I was, like, 5'11", like, 190. So I started off playing on the O-line and on the D-line, you know. But, I mean, like, I like I love the position, you know, like, I've, I love D-line so much. Like, I've excelled in it. So, like, I fell in love with the position. So, like, I just stuck to it. And I just, like, kept progressing from there. Obviously, college football, you know, is athletics. But you got to balance your life with academics. And you, um, you're studying mechanical engineering. Very rigorous uh, courses, coursework, I'm sure. How do you kind of balance that, um, your coursework with your practices and everything else? Obviously, it's very tough, you know, playing Division One college athletics and studying mechanical engineering, like, is a really tough thing, you know, like, but I mean, like, it's something that I love to do. Like, I love playing football and I love engineering so much. I'm just so passionate about both of them. So I pretty much, like, manage my time, you know, like, I'll go to practice, like, during, like, so-and-so time. Then right afterwards, I'll, like, get on my studying and my homework and everything. Like, there's sometimes, like, I just stay up to, like, 1 a.m. just, like, doing work. It's it's super tough, but I mean, I know like at the end of the day, it's just all gonna work out for the best for me. What what goals do you have in your career? Obviously, you know, you're playing college football, great getting to the NFL would be great, or playing mm -hmm. professionally would be great in anywhere, just like your brother in Europe. But long term, do you have any other goals outside of sports? Well, I mean, obviously, like getting getting my degree in mechanical engineering, like that's like the, my number one goal right now. That's why I'm at the University of San Diego, because the school is so like it's like one of the top engineering programs in the country. So going to a school like this, like really, really will like set me up for life. So like once I get my degree, like I'll probably maybe go to grad school after that and maybe work right off the bat. I don't know. But I mean, if God, if God is good and like he blesses me with the opportunity to play professionally, like I'm definitely going to take that, whether it be like an NFL or overseas, you never know. Right. You mean it's, it's, you're playing window and any athlete, unless you're Tom Brady and you're playing until 45, you're playing windows limited and either you got to take advantage of that. And that's awesome. I, I really hope to see that and see, uh, wish the best of luck for you in, in reaching those goals. Um, and as far as you being Armenian, you know, there's, there's a handful of Armenians playing in uh, D1 college football right now across mm -hmm. the country. Uh, Bubba Arslanian, probably the most notable at University of Akron right now. Uh, what does it feel like to kind of represent that small crop of Armenian talent in uh, Division One college football right now? I think it's very cool. I mean, like, there's not that many Armenians playing Division One college football. And for me to be one of those of the very few, 
I think it's pretty cool, you know, because I want to be like an inspiration for young Armenian athletes, like maybe pursuing Division One college football, you know. Like I want to be like someone who like the kids can look up to in order to be great football players. Yeah, absolutely. And again, Armenians have been successful in uh, in the NFL. You you do a quick search and you can find all sorts of Armenian athletes who succeeded in, in, in professional football and college football. And it's so awesome to see guys like you also succeeding, not, but also seriously, not just on the field, but in the classroom as well. And you guys, mm-hmm. University of San Diego, you're, you're the Toreros. You guys kick off Saturday, September the 3rd against Laverne. And obviously mm-hmm. you're redshirting this year. So explain to the, you know, people who maybe don't watch college football, what does that mean? So redshirting is basically like you get a year of eligibility back. So every single every single college athlete has four years of eligibility. But if you play in less than I believe four games during the season, you get to redshirt, which means that you get a year of eligibility back. So instead of like instead of like just like going to college for four years and playing four seasons, you could come back for a fifth season and play again. Very cool. So we'll be seeing Jonathan Graves. University of San Diego for many years to come in the collegiate level. And we're excited to see that, uh, John. And uh, uh, have you been following your brother in, in Europe? And uh, how often do you keep in touch with him? Josh Greaves. Talk to him every single day. We are super close, super, really cl- super close. So I was actually fortunate enough to go to Denmark back in June. So I was able to watch two of his games. You know, he started for the ta- like Copenhagen Towers and everything. And just like watching him play and everything, like it's just, it was just so awesome to see him just like, because I've been like watching him since he was like little, like Pop Warner, you know, playing linemen, then like eventually like making his way up to the quarterback level, then at high school, then at Occidental, now he's in the pros. Like it's just like, it's just awesome just seeing him just go, you know, just go to that level because he always talks about playing pro and everything. So I'm super proud of him and everything. And I'm so glad I got to watch him. You guys kind of bounce off, you know, you know, you're obviously older now and you, you've learned a ton in, in, in football. Do you guys kind of bounce each other ideas off each other about what you can do better and what he can do better and kind of help each other improve? Yeah, of course. I mean, so my brother calls me every day. He's like, Hey man, you just got to go to work today. You know, you gotta, you just gotta be better than everybody else. You just gotta dominate everything, you know, just be confident in yourself and the rest will take care of itself. You know, just, Go in with a good attitude, and if you and if you got better today, then everything is good. So I'm sure your mother, your Armenian mother, Seda, probably cooked up a lot of good chorovats for to have oh two young God. boys who are both <laughs> one is a professional football player, the other is on his way. It, it's <laughs> something in that food, probably, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, my, my mom would always my mom and my my mitz mom too. Just huge pork, huge portion foods. You know, we got the rice, you got like the steak and the chicken and everything, you know. I mean, yeah, like it's it's so unbelievably good. That's awesome, Jonathan. Wishing you the best of luck this season. And, you know, we'll be keeping an eye on you all throughout the year and uh, covering you on Armenian Sports News. And uh, hopefully you'll make some big headlines for us. <laughs>